Hello and welcome. My name's Marilyn and we're going to talk about knitting today. So I have a couple of things on my list. Always keep a list of things that I'm busy working on. It's basically a copy of my Ravelry account. Um, Ravelry is where I keep everything. Um, but I always make a note in here too because sometimes if it's a paid for pattern you don't want to write too much. Uh, anyways, finished objects. So um, this one was a labor of love. It's rib from top to bottom for my husband. He wanted something in cotton, something uh, in this color green, like a khaki army green, and something that he could easily just throw on and off. So uh, he first asked for straight sleeves, then he didn't like the look of that because I didn't know either, but if you don't decrease on the sleeves and just knit straight, the ends flare slightly. Not impressed. So I, so I pulled back about to there and then re-knitted with some decreases, which uh, he likes a lot. So he will wear this a lot more now that I've amended the sleeves. Um, the end is not an I-cord bind off. Um, I thought I'd try something a little bit different, different to me anyway, but it seems like this secret bind off, the Icelandic bind off. Um, I heard, um, uh, I can't remember her name, High Five Binets. She mentioned the Icelandic bind off and I was curious. So I went to have a look at what that was about. Um, plenty of videos online, but I'll, I'll uh, insert a little clip here of how exactly you do that. So um, you knit the stitch and then slip it back on backwards um, and then knit the second stitch on the needle on the left needle through the first needle and then slip it off uh, and then that stitch you slip back on backwards and keep going so it sounds very confusing but really and truly it's super easy and probably one of the fastest bind offs um, in my opinion with a really nice neat edge it kind of looks like a one stitch I called bind off, but it's not. It's the Icelandic bind off, which is like pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool, I thought. And I don't know why I don't see it more often because, yeah, it looks nice. I like it. Anyways, I did a double folded collar um, and sewed it in as I went. Plenty of videos showing how to do that, uh, which makes it for which makes for a very neat collar um, and. Um, I kind of designed this as I went along. I was kind of loosely following um, a free Gone Studio pattern, uh, men's size, so I cast on all the men's size uh, measurements for a medium. Um, but then just, it was a simple raglan. So I did a, a simple raglan increase on each side, but it was pretty tricky um, to keep it in pattern for some reason, I don't know, with, with without making it look untidy. Where's the light shining that way? Um, anyway, so it managed to work out. Um, there are one or two areas where it's not so neat, like over there. I'm just being over the top about it. I don't really need to worry too much because no one's going to look too closely at my raglan seams. So anyway, that's that one. It's nice and long. Um, and because it's cotton, it will um, stretch out so you can see the, the ribbing, hopefully. That's a lot of ribbing. <laughs> um, and of course, I thought I was done and then had to um, pull back the sleeves. So that's that one. First sweater I've knit for like man size. Um, I usually do things for my boys. Um, my young, my oldest has plenty, plenty knitted raglans, um, but only recently, by that I mean maybe two years, three years ago. Um, so I've been knitting for about, I don't know, 20 years, but two, three years ago. So that's relatively recent for that time frame. Um, the all in one, what's it called, in the round raglan became more popular and I was like, oh, that's so much better than knitting in pieces and sewing it together, which is what I always did. 
Um, so this one is knit in the round, top down. Um, it's nice and wide. It's got a very cute style. Um, I'll put a picture in of my youngest wearing it. He's super happy with it. He likes the colors, he likes the stripes. Um, I did a, yeah, no, normal bind off. Normal, no, Icelandic bind off for this one too. Uh, yeah, it's a favorite of mine now. And also on the sleeves, Icelandic bind off. So you can see it's quite small. Um, so they're very cute sleeves, they're tiny. Only like that big, that big, and uh, the body is really super wide, so he looks um, very cute in it. And then I just put three X's to mark the back, and little detail there, three little hearts. So that's um, his little top, and it's kind of loosely um, based on good old raglan something like that um what's it called good old um very nice pattern and very easy to follow but i did modify it with the double folded collar again i think it looks super neat and uh also picked it up and bound it off as you, as i went along so it's super neat on the inside too um i'm slowly starting to uh neaten up the different elements of a sweater so like the the raglan edging is getting neater and neater every time i do it and i'm learning which style um, i prefer the best this one two stitch raglan yeah two stitch raglan and then the neat insides here so if anyone did see inside it would be neat and tidy um double folded collar you can actually see a color change there um and then the bind off Icelandic bind off is my new favorite, um, but actually I prefer the I-cord bind off um, for some things. Yeah, so those are my two finished objects for this video. Um, this was a stash buster, so I had a lot of acrylic DK weight yarn left over from various projects. Um, actually from my other son's sweaters that I've done for him over the years. So I put it together in one and I love the coloring. It looks like a stone looks like a stone wall or something um, with the greens and the browns and the beiges. Um, actually, this green has a variation in color. You can see um, different coloring. I don't know what the colorways are. Um, like I said, it was a stash busting one. So glad that is, it used up three skeins in my stash. So that was brilliant. Um, what I did was I finished up the sleeves first and put the body on hold on a cord and then I finished up the body with whatever was left over because I wanted the sleeves to kind of match but you can actually see that the sleeves don't match <laughs> um oh well no one's gonna know and if they do know why are they looking so closely at my knitting <laughs> so the third project uh that I'll talk about today is the progress on my Kudzu cardigan. I uh, spoke about it last time, it's in Drops Nord. Um, it's slightly thicker than a DK weight. Is it an Aran weight? I don't know. But it's knit on 5mm needles. And I love the feel of the 5mm needles um, with this yarn. It's just so lovely and um, the time-lapse video is of me knitting on this one. Actually finishing up the rib. So again, Icelandic bind off the bottom. Um, it's so neat and tidy and it doesn't look, it's like a cross between handmade and store-bought, I guess, not handmade. I'm trying to make my knits look less handmade, not that there's anything wrong with handmade, but I like the smooth, clean lines that a machine produces. Not that I'm a machine, but... <laughs> We can all try and be as neat as possible. So that's that one. Um, so I finished the sleeve on the one side. Here's my sleeve and it's fitting really well. It's pretty straight. It's got five decreases going down the sleeve. It's a free pattern by the way so I can talk about the decreases. It's got five decreases going down the sleeve and then a whole bunch at the end before the cuff. So the cuff I did in Twisted Rib, um, it just gives a neater finish. 
and the bottom unfortunately I already did in normal rib um, which I showed earlier so you can see the difference between the two the twisted rib and the normal rib um, yeah twisted rib oh you can't really see because of the light the twisted rib is much neater yeah so let me um, put this on I'll probably wear this in an episode at some point but yeah so it'll look something like that it's got a lovely slouchy sleeve which I'm really liking yeah uh, I was a bit worried that I wouldn't like this balloony kind of style but actually I do so I'm not going to be pulling that back I'm off that sleeve island <laughs> onto the second sleeve and I'm going to stay on the second sleeve now um, so thankfully I do like that I am busy working on that camisole, the minty camisole that I spoke about last time. But for now, those are all the objects that I'll be including this week. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will probably do another video once I've finished this cardigan and cast on my next project, which I'm thinking will be in the grey drop spuna alpaca yarn that I bought so uh, we'll see I've got the raspberry kiss jumper in mind which I'll insert photos so you can see it's also on my ravelry list waiting you know what I don't think anybody said ravelry first time through it's like ravelry <laughs> anyway it's on my queue there it's been on there for a while I really want to start that so that is uh, what I'm doing and uh, I keep looking down at my notes because I don't want to forget anything, but I think that's it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode and uh, I will see you again soon.